university, I was really like, oh, am I gonna make friends? And lectures and teaching actually started happening. It was like, wow, I'm, I'm actually settled. I'd made a few friends, I had plans. My schedule was packed. ARU became more of a support system. Throughout these three years, I become more confident. I also start learning to become a leader. I've built really strong relationships with people that I feel like will go on further outside of uni. Teachers and other staff are always ready to help. Oh, at ARU, it was literally the best experience I could have ever asked when it came to the whole university life. Even though COVID came around, ARU did well to maintain the whole thing. I was ready for this new journey because I was going to study something I always wanted to. The connections which I made here it will have a very big impact on my life, it will benefit me in the future. When I will graduate and walk on the stage, all the girls who have ever wished for education and they wanted to achieve something higher in life, all of them will be graduating with me that day. This is like the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited for the future. I want to see what is to become of me. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I've changed a lot in this journey. I couldn't ask for anything more than this. What message would you give to the class of 2022? Congratulations for reaching this point and look forward to the journey ahead. You've come through one of the hardest times that I think that any generation of students has had and you've come out on top. The world is your Easter. You know, there's, there's no limitations to what you can achieve. You make us proud. Give them hell. I'm so proud to be a part of ARU and I hope you are too. It's a wide community getting wider around the world and it's a proud boast to say I am an Anglia Ruskin graduate. Well I want to become in future is professional footballer, cyber security analyst. I'm going to be the prime minister. Day loyal. Public health professional. Emergency medicine. Software engineering. Physician associate. I'll be an actress. In the future, I would like to be a successful person and happy person. Professional actor. Senior lecturer in history. Managing director. CG supervisor. Alumni officer. PhD student. Veteran. Chairperson of the National Youth Environment Council. Volunteer for the Royal British Legion. Registered music therapist. Founder of Little Lifts. Honorary graduate. We all should be really proud of ourselves and we deserve this.
Good morning, everybody. Please do take a seat. On behalf of the Academic Registrar, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you to Chelmsford Cathedral for this morning's ARU graduation ceremony. We have all gathered here to celebrate your success, the class of 2022. I think it is fair to say that as a cohort, you have had one of the more unconventional higher education experiences. I am sure there have been times when you have had your doubts as to whether you would ever get to a graduation ceremony. But you have, and very well done to you all for undertaking your studies in such unprecedented circumstances. Graduation ceremonies follow a tradition that dates back to the 15th century, and it is a tradition which has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step, and graduation symbolises the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use their talents and skills developed during their studies to contribute to further advancement of society. As each graduand crosses the stage, they will pause, doff their hat and bow to the Vice-Chancellor, who will respond in kind to acknowledge their success and moreover to symbolise their transition to their new role as a graduate. We will applaud them for their success so far but also in anticipation of their contribution we expect them to make to society in the future. At the conclusion of our ceremony, the Vice-Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates into our community of scholars. And as members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession and that will bring our ceremony to a close. During proceedings, those graduating with higher research degree awards will have their hood placed on them by the Vice-Chancellor to indicate that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. So it is now time to begin our formal proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session and I call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address you. Vice-Chancellor. Distinguished guests, graduands, family and friends, colleagues, as Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I'm delighted to join you this morning at your graduation ceremony. And firstly, to all those graduating today, my congratulations on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. Today is a day of great celebration. It's an opportunity for each of you to take stock, to reflect and celebrate your achievements to date, but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change, to implement new ideas and new ways of working. The passion, energy, and commitment that led you to undertake your ARU degree and gave you the strength and resilience to succeed in that task despite all the challenges you'll have faced, including those challenges posed by this dreadful pandemic, can now be applied to building your careers and realizing your aspirations. And whether your future lies in education, health, social care, business, law, science, technology, the arts, with your passion, and your expertise, you really can now make a difference, helping society to address the challenges that we all face. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills, the confidence, and the determination to influence and lead your professions to promote change and to achieve your ambitions. As well as serving our students, we at ARU are fully committed to serving our region and the communities in which we are based. Economic development, social inclusion, business support, 
tackling health inequalities. These are all fundamentally important elements of our mission, transforming lives through innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial education and research. And despite all the challenges that we've all faced together, this has been another highly successful year for ARU. We are making extraordinary progress on our journey towards opening a new university in Peterborough, ARU Peterborough, which will open its doors and welcome its first cohort of students in September. And this new university will provide life-changing opportunities for thousands of local people who may not previously have considered degree-level study and deliver a skilled local workforce to meet employers' needs. In November last year, we were awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for our world-leading research in music therapy, and in particular, our research with people living with dementia and their carers. In January, we opened the UK's first Samaritans University Hub on our Cambridge campus, and our Chelmsford Hub will be opening soon. And in April, we were ranked first in the UK and 20th in the world out of more than 1,100 universities for health and well-being in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. And our students won innumerable prizes, including the Klaus Fluger Prize for debut children's book, the top prize, the Seleni Henry Award at the Royal Television Society's Student Television Awards, and the new talent category at the World Illustration Awards. And we are a genuinely global community of students and researchers. We attract students from over 135 countries, and they flourish with us because they find a second home here. And our researchers, too, have worldwide reach and impact. In this year's National Research Excellence Framework, 16 of our research areas were rated as including world-leading research. And our researchers are tackling real-world issues, from improving internet safety for teenagers to changing the lives of people living with dementia from developing compassionate resilience in healthcare workers to addressing the global burden of eye disease. And our researchers responded rapidly to the outbreak of COVID-19 by committing to research that would help us to understand and develop interventions to address the massive impact the pandemic was having on all our communities. Their research included ways into speeding up coronavirus testing, research into how COVID-19 affects the eyes, how it's making tinnitus worse, and research into innovative drug combinations that can reduce complications in COVID-19 patients. So in our research, as in our education, we are having real, tangible impact on people's lives, and that's something of which we are all really proud. But above all, we define our success as a university by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your help as our newest alumni, because the support we receive from our alumni and our friends really matters. It adds value to the education we can provide our students, and it supports our researchers to push boundaries. So please help us, help us to build links with your networks and your professions, and please spread the good word about your university. Before I close, I would please like to pay special tribute to your families and friends who have offered you their constant support throughout your education. You and we owe them our great gratitude. So please join me in saying thank you very much. And I would please also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues, the staff right across ARU, for their tireless work and professionalism and their extraordinary commitment to supporting you and all in our community throughout the challenges of the pandemic. But above all, and once again, my congratulations to you all. I do hope you enjoy your day. 
I wish you well wherever your ARU degree takes you, and please do stay in touch. ARU is your university for life, and our success and your success are inextricably linked. Thank you very much. Vice-Chancellor, thank you. We now come to our main business for today's ceremony, the presentation to the Vice-Chancellor of those receiving awards today. And I now call upon Pro-Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Nigel Harrison, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Applied Nutritional Science, Snodia Chara. <laughs> Cody Jacob Davis. Gillian Laura Fell. Richard Griffiths. Mariana Evelyn D'Souza. Mitch Richmond. Lucy Ann Wright. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Operating Department Practice, Nigeen Akbari. <laughs> Joanna Sylvia Betterman. <laughs> Lauren Carol Chalmers. Alicia Court. Blessing Emmanuel Eze. Imogen Rose Griffiths. Tony Heppard. <laughs> Lauren Jared. <laughs> Shireen Antoinette McCarthy. <laughs> Azamel Sadat Moghaimai. Wilhelmine Muhemba. <laughs> Sylvie Lufimpo. <laughs> Vincent Hiigl Okorua. <laughs> Doris Ogmorabi. Albert Rutter. <laughs> Catherine Wao. <laughs> for, the, for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Pharmaceutical Science, Ali Abubika. Kerry Victoria Gillen. <laughs> Astra Jolly. <laughs> Lloyd Patrick Kiley. <laughs> Daniela Zaha Laiwa Nadai Rira.
Heather Louise Nichols. Isaac Sidat. For the award of Master of Science, Pharmaceutical Science, Daniel Adam Alves. Simran Grewal. Kosha Haila Manaharan. Vice Chancellor, that partially completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Professor Nigel Harrison, thank you. We have many distinguished academics at ARU, and I would like to ask one of them, Matt Webster, Head of School for Applied Health, to come to the podium to offer a few words. Graduates, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to share this moment with you today. As we mark an important milestone in your journey, we pause to reflect both on that journey and on the future. We talk a lot about how different this past three years has been and the impact areas such as the economy, the pandemic, and as many as Finn Gowns can attest to so far, climate change. We talk about having had a different and life-changing experience because of them, but I think that misses the point. Attending university has always been a transformational experience, not because of external factors, but because you made the choice to take your path in a different and exciting direction with us here at ARU. The world around us is changing. These changes bring uncertainty and they bring challenge. And they also bring a responsibility to create a version that is better than the one that preceded it. We are proud that as a cohort, you have driven ARU to the forefront of conversations about mental health, about well-being, and about equal access. Your achievements, your passion, your energy, and your drive have created an institution that each of us feels proud to be part of each and every day. You remind us that even the most difficult of times pass and that commitment and sacrifice are the price we must pay for achievement. There are no shortcuts. There is no interest-free credit for hard work. We see you pay this price up front with hours spent in quiet preparation, noisy collaboration, and nervous laughter before exams. Achievement is hard, but what you achieve is everlasting. Within our community, and with you here today, there is much to celebrate. But not everything outside our walls has improved. The word truth no longer holds the same meaning that it did previously. In politics, in social media, truth now refers to what you have been told or shown rather than the reality. Weaponizing this type of truth, presenting opinion as fact, and leaders generating issues that deliberately divide us and our all normal aspects of our society. A sad reflection, but not one without hope. Your studies with us mean you are now equipped to protect yourselves and others from treading further down this path. The ability and the skill to establish raw facts and reach your own conclusions, this is the cornerstone of research, a skill that has underpinned all of your qualifications today. With criticism as its backbone, the scientific method rejects all authority, except that of the objective fact. You leave us with the tools to challenge these new conventions, but you do so as an everlasting member of our compassionate community, aware and empathetic of people with different views or experiences to you. Curiosity, research, and the scientific method all underpin aspects of human involvement. You are now the tip of the dagger of progress. Guide it with compassion and apply your skills to solve real world problems. This is your new goal and this is now your new journey. We are proud to have been a chapter in that story. As you move the world forward, you validate our mission to provide innovative, inclusive and entrepreneurial education for the benefit of society. We are privileged to have provided that education. It is now to you to deliver its full benefit to society. Thank you. Matt, thank you very much. 
We now continue with the presentation of those receiving awards today, and I call upon Professor Nigel Harrison to return to the podium to continue the presentation to the Vice-Chancellor of Graduands from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Professor Nigel Harrison. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to continue the presentation of graduands from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Postgraduate Certificate, Medical and Healthcare Education, Hassam Abdel Kelek. George Baker. Jesse James Balba. <laughs> Sherbet Dutolo Chindender. <laughs> Godson Ikena Chukuku Bellu. <laughs> Sri Sab Sabrina Gunan Athan. Harry Oliver Holcomb. <laughs> Suzanne Hymers. <laughs> Syed Mohammed Hassan Nawaz. <laughs> Emma Nelson Bailey. Maya Nicola Pakbak E. Ogi. <laughs> Gift Firi. <laughs> Michelle Jennifer Pickering. <laughs> Ma Lucia Ruiz. Deborah Skellington. <laughs> Stephanie Louise Smith. <laughs> Sadhin Subhash. <laughs> Somaila Tharmakulas Ingham. Imaika Sultana. <laughs> For the award of Postgraduate Diploma, Medical and Healthcare Education, Major Babar Akbar. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Medical and Healthcare Education, Athi Ira George. <laughs> Daryl Perilla. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Physician Associate, Mayed Hamed. <laughs> Adonai Deborah Amon Iga. Blessy Binu. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Hickman. <laughs> Nazra Hussein. <laughs> Angela Jamie Jerome. Lucy Annabelle Jessup. <laughs> Hassan Karayajit.
Daniel Mapasai. Navid Osman Musarat. <laughs> Haina Naim. <laughs> Mary Owosenai. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present those who have been awarded higher research degrees. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Development of a High Throughput Phenotypic Screening Assay to Identify Novel Medicines to Prevent Dermal Scarring, Alice Ruth Lapthorne. Vice Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Professor Nigel Harrison, thank you. Many congratulations to you all. In addition to your success, there are many fellow graduates with whom you studied but who are not attending today's ceremony for a variety of reasons. In their absence, would you please join me in acknowledging their success? We are now nearing the end of our ceremony, but first I would like to ask Lucy Jessup, one of our wonderful new graduates, to come to the podium to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of those receiving awards today. Lucy. Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, fellow graduates. It is my pleasure to offer the vote of thanks today from myself and on behalf of all the students graduating at this ceremony. Today is a day of great celebration. I would like to begin by congratulating everyone graduating here today. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves. Completing a degree during a global pandemic is not an easy feat, but our ability to succeed when faced with adversity was certainly not achievable alone. I would firstly like to take this opportunity to give thanks to the lecturers at Anglia Ruskin University. Your guidance, support and encouragement has equipped us with the knowledge and confidence needed to set us on the path towards our future careers. I would also like to extend thanks to our fellow graduates and colleagues who helped to carry us across the finish line. As the class of 2022, we've certainly had a unique teaching experience. One that's been built on Zoom calls, Teams meetings, and socially distanced lectures, but a special one nonetheless. I speak on behalf of those who undertook placements in hospitals and clinical settings as part of their degree. As someone who spent my second year on placement at Broomfield Hospital, I saw firsthand my colleagues demonstrate their knowledge confidence and compassion in a real life setting. Despite its challenges, while studying throughout a pandemic, we learned the ability to adapt and support one another. 
You should all be proud of the resilience, bravery, and determination you've shown throughout the entirety of your degree. But now is the time to build upon these experiences and skills you've learnt and enter the working world. Like all of you, I'm looking forward to what the future will hold and where it will take me. Now is the time to embrace the future, perhaps one that isn't now six feet apart. And finally, last but not by any means least, our relatives, friends and family. We certainly wouldn't be where we are today without your continuous love, support, and infinite cups of tea and coffee. So thank you. Thank you very much, Lucy, and very well done. I now call for one final time on the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address our new graduates. So now, please, can I ask all of those who have been presented to me on the stage this morning, can I please ask you to stand? As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas, and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all. Honoured guests, that brings us to the end of the ceremony, and I hereby declare proceedings closed. Can I now please ask you all to stand for the academic procession? <laughs>